Hello, Joffre. Hello. You are the product manager of the NetAtmo weather station. So you can explain me everything around this product. I use the weather app on my smartphone 10 times a day. Uh -huh. So what sense would it make for me to have your weather station? What is different? The main difference with this weather station regarding just checking your app will be that you will have the weather data at your doorstep. You will know exactly what's happening at your place. Whereas a weather app will just give you a forecast, a pronostic of what the weather is probably like here. You will be able to know exactly what's the weather at your doorstep. It's more precise than my weather app, it, which also tells me in which part of Munich I am, exactly. but not always exactly. exactly. Your weather app will work on weather models that work decently well, but it will never be able to know exactly what's happening, exactly where you live. We've seen different sorts of phenomena um, people who live close by to the sea, people who live in areas uh, with mountains, the weather can have sudden changes and difference from urban areas, from the fields, etc. And the weather station will tell you exactly what's the weather at your place, wherever you live. Okay, you have it with you. It's your lounge tour through Europe. Let's open the box and see what it looks like. So it comes in two main models. So this one will go inside your home and this one you will place outside. So, the one that's inside, it comes here with a power adapter. You will just plug it in and then through an app, you will uh, connect it to your router. This one, it goes on two AAA batteries and you will just place it outside the window. You can hang it easily uh, with the system we provide and it will start reporting the data. Do I um, connect them via wireless LAN, yes. Wi-Fi? Yes. Both of them? So, this one's connected to the Wi-Fi and then this one connects to it on radio frequency. We have a proprietary protocol that enables us to transmit data from every module. We'll see there are more modules than just the outdoor module. Uh -huh. Every module into the main module that is connected to the Wi-Fi. So it's not Bluetooth, it's not Matter, it's, it's, it's not uh, Zigbee, it's, it's something special. It's a proprietary protocol over radio frequency, yeah. And then you go um, and connect your app? So basically, you just place them and you connect them with the app. Let me show you what it looks like. So this is right here at the office in Munich. We oh, see yes, we are in Munich at the wonderful office, Allison Communications. They have a beautiful office right at the old Siemens Bananstraße areas. So when the user will launch the app, they will see at the top part the current outdoor weather data with the temperature, the pressure, the feels like temperature and the humidity. Is one station working here? Or this we... is a station that we installed a few, year, a few days back here in the agency. All the data we've been recording since we installed it a few days ago mm -hmm. on the 28th. Mm -hmm. You see, the oh, oh, this was the reason that you installed it a few days ago. Yeah, because that you we were can coming show here. The historical exactly. data exactly. of this part of Munich. Exactly. If I switch to a different station, show you how we can navigate mm -hmm. over a bunch of bigger set of data. So this is a station that we installed in a home in France very long ago. As we zoom out, thanks so much. Bye bye, bye bye, looks good. So as I was saying, as we zoom out, we can see global trends for every month and with the maximum and minimum. Mm -hmm. So we can easily navigate through all the data that mm -hmm. the weather station has recorded over the years for as long as the user has had it. Oh, is, is it is this stored in your cloud? I it guess? is stored in our cloud based in Europe. Mm -hmm. and the data is encrypted at the weather station when it's sent to the cloud, so everything is secure and all the data belongs to the user when it's stored in our Do cloud. Do I definitely need a cloud or would it work um, offline also? You need to use the app and it will work with our cloud. Cloud only? Yeah. It's not possible to realize such a service without you, the cloud. What you can do is you can download the data from the cloud if you wish. Ah, okay. It is available either through the download data feature that we have on our web app, or you can just use the API to automate uh, how you retrieve the data, and then you can do whatever you want with it. You can just create your data sets or integrate it into any sort of app of your choice. Can you tell me something about your market penetration? Are you alone on this field or so do you have many competitors? There are a few competitors. We are the weather station um, that works for homes at a professional level, and this is quite unique. 
we've seen other weather stations that are more professional um, and extremely harder to configure. And then we've seen a lot of much more simpler weather stations that will provide basic data and will generally not be connected to your phone. There are many simple weather stations, we, I guess. From, we are the from, ones providing from, sure. a full experience with an excellent design that will blend into anyone's home mm -hmm. to an app that will <laughs> give you all the data at your fingertips mm -hmm. in an easy experience. You are the yeah. lead product manager I am. I am. of this product? As a product manager at Nerano, I lead the R&D teams working on the product. Are you coming from Spain? That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I come from Barcelona. Catalonia. 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 Yeah. And your name is Geoffrey? Geoffrey Torrens Morera. As for the market penetration you were asking earlier, I think the best thing I can show is um, we have this weather map, so every user once they have installed the weather station, they can choose to share the outdoor data that uh -huh. they record to create the biggest community of weather data in the world. And that's our weather map. On uh -huh. the app, it looks like this. As we zoom out, we see across the globe, we have weather stations everywhere. Mm -hmm. So no matter where we go, we will find people owning an ethanol weather station, whether it's America that says or Asia lot or Australia about your market share. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and if we zoom into Munich, for example, we will see what the density of weather stations looks like. The more we zoom, the more weather stations that will ah, appear. So I can find out the neighbors. That you, can, you can find out the not only station. the weather at your doorstep, but also anywhere in the world, thanks to, thanks to this weather map. Okay. The gray one is your newest model that you just um, launched and um, announced here? Yes, so this model that we just announced um, not only will tell you what's the weather like with the measurements it takes, but it will also display on your app mm -hmm. information about the pollen and the UV levels ah. so that you can better prepare your activities outdoor. So mm -hmm. let me maybe show you what it looks like right now in Munich. So this is the data coming from the weather station. And as we swipe, we see what's the current air quality here where we are in Munich. But we also see what's the current UV index. The remaining sun time today, it's not very sunny as we can see, even though it's the morning still. As we tap on it, we get the detail for the next 24 hours as well as, as some advice. Mm -hmm. And then finally, the pollen data for trees, grass and wheat. Mm -hmm. So we can know depending on our allergies or sensibilities, what, um, what are the pollen levels for today as well as for the next three days. So it's more precise about the pollen in my own garden, I guess. Exactly. Can you say something about the price? Sells at 169 euros, mm -hmm. 169, um, and you get the indoor and the outdoor module. And then you Both can, of them. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then you can complete the range with, uh, with a set of accessories. Oh, yeah. so can you show what for, else you have? For example, we have an accessory to professionalize a little further your outdoor module. This is a shield where you can place the module and it will be protected from sun rays. So it will be easier to install and provide more accurate data. And it has some interesting mounting. Um, we can take a look. I can cut the process out, no problem. It's all right. Oh, looks beautiful. This is what it looks like. Yes. It's very simple to install. Basically, the user will just open it. Yeah. They will place it like this. Uh -huh. okay. And then they will just come here. Up. And can you show the back side? And so at the back we see the mounting to... system ah, the either mounting. with the two screws okay. or we also provide some wire ties in case you want to put it on a pole. So ah. there's two of them and you can just install it in a minute. Okay. And you have more with you? We, we have more than this, of course. So let me open it to put the module back. Mm -hmm. If the user wishes to monitor different rooms inside their home, we have additional indoor modules mm -hmm. that will connect again, just like the other module to the main product. Mm -hmm. So they come, they work on batteries as well. What sense does it make to have uh, several stations in one? So uh, this, way, this way we will be able to know what's not just the temperature, but also the indoor air quality uh -huh. in different rooms at home. So you can place this one in your living room, for example, and then on each of your rooms, you can place the additional one. So say you have children and you want to make sure you are airing the rooms regularly, it will tell you how the CO2 levels evolve in the rooms or anything you want so to monitor. What, what would be interesting figures?
the pollen uh, in the room or what? So no, the pollen will will be at the outside. This is why we have the outdoor module. In the rooms, we will be taking a look at temperature, humidity, CO2, and the noise level. Oh, they are also measuring CO2? Yes, exactly. Oh, that's interesting. Exactly. Can you tell me how long will the CO2 model work? Does it need... Um, the CO2 actually works uh, pretty much from the beginning. It may take a couple hours to calibrate the sensor. Uh -huh. What we will see with CO2 is that on the outdoors, we're always around 400 ppm. Uh -huh. And as we get indoors and we close the windows, by just people breathing inside, we will see the levels raise. Oh. In general, after... So this is a big difference because my handy does not measure the CO2 in the, in the there's, rooms. There's pretty much no other weather station that will uh, measure CO2. There are CO2 sensors, mm -hmm. but this one is the first one that included it in a uh, weather station. And is it in your newest product only or was it in the other It ones? was already in the previous version. You already had okay. it. Exactly. Oh yes, you and do not need an extra CO2 sensor. And the models are compatible. Now you are uh, almost convincing me. <laughs> now CO2 is actually um, a reading that helps a lot. We have many users tell us we didn't know how important it was until we started reading how CO2 levels raised very high very quickly and uh -huh. we started airing the room and it has changed the way we live in our homes. So it's something that many people doesn't realize, but it really makes a change to uh -huh. pay attention to it. Can you program an alarm on your app Absolutely, also? absolutely. You can customize the CO2 alarms levels? at any level of any of the measurements we take. If you want to be notified when there's a thousand PPMs of CO2, you will receive the notification, but you can also choose to be notified when the humidity hits 90%, for example, ah, no. in your bathroom, if you have put one, one module, and then you will know you should air the bathroom to get rid of all the humidity after a shower, for ah. example. So what else do you have? So this was the indoor part. We already saw the main outdoor module for temperature, yeah. humidity, and uh, pressure. But we completed the weather station with a rain gauge and with a wind meter. So we're going to take a closer look at each of them. The rain gauge will measure rainfall. It looks like this. As rain falls, it will go through the little hole mm -hmm. and it will make tip this bucket and this is how we record how much it's rained. The advantage of this system is that the user will never have to empty the rain, the rain gauge. Who does need this? Anyone no. wishing to monitor um, rainfall at their garden, for example, because they have uh, some plants. Uh -huh. They can use uh, this uh, rain gauge to monitor how much it's rained every okay. day or every week or yeah. for the period they okay. want. Uh -huh. Okay. And then we can take a closer look at the last accessory that I have today. It's our wind meter, the smart anemometer. It's quite a disruptive design. As you can see, it's an anemometer, mm -hmm. but it has no propeller. It has no caps. Nothing moves here. It only has four ultrasonic transducers that are placed here yeah. at the center. Mm -hmm. So the way it works, this product is by emitting ultrasounds and listening to them and comparing the time it takes for the sound to travel in two directions, north, south, south, north, south, and east, west. And with that, we can accurately determine the wind speed and the wind direction at every measurement. Mm -hmm. This way, there's no inertia. So when there's a propeller turning, if it turns very fast after a gust, mm -hmm. it will keep turning faster than the wind for a while until it slows down. With this one, we just have the exact weather speed and direction at every measurement. And you can easily add it to the weather station. Everything will be displayed on your app and you just swipe through the data as we saw earlier on, on screen. So why do I need the wind speed? The wind speed can be convenient for any purpose. We have people um, going for a run in the morning and checking which way the wind blows to know where to start and, when, and where to finish. Uh -huh. um, we have people protecting their blinds and awnings um, when the wind is hitting harder. Mm -hmm. We have people just wanting to be notified when there's a thunderstorm and the wind speed increases or there's a, a gust at a high speed. There's all sorts of of close, uses you can give it to. Close the windows. Or close, closing the windows, um, raising shutters or closing them, depending on the design you have at home. Uh -huh. Any sorts of actions can be put in once you know 
there's a strong wind hitting your home. Do you happen to have the prices in your head? So this is the prices for the full range. Mm -hmm. um, as I said earlier, the main station starts at 169. And then um, we have the additional indoor module at 79, the wind gauge, the animometer at 109, mm -hmm. and then the range gauge at 79. Is your portfolio even bigger? Did yes, yes. Uh -huh. Neradmo not only makes weather products, uh -huh. we also have an indoor air quality monitor that completes the range, which is not... Like a display? Today. No, it's more of a sensor that only goes indoor. This one has all the outdoor part, and we also have a sensor for the indoor. Uh -huh. And then we have um, thermostats and um, radiator valves that will allow you to control the heating at your place. We also have uh, an air conditioning controller mm -hmm. um, that will replace your remote. And then we have a whole security range with indoor and outdoor cameras mm -hmm. with artificial intelligence that will determine when you get home or when you are out by recognizing your face on the camera. Mm -hmm. So here there's no cloud involved. I think it's a very interesting product. Mm -hmm. um, same goes for the outdoor camera. It will notify only when there's someone loitering around or when there's an animal or when there's a car, but it will not notify you just when the wind blows and the trees move around mm -hmm. or when the clouds move uh, in the background. And then in the security range, we also have smoke sensor and CO sensor. And we have a door lock that we launched last year. That's a smart door lock that you can open with your, with your smartphone or you can just use a securized key that we provide with it. And you can enable the key on any of the door locks you have and share it with the people you want to have access to your place. Okay, thank you very much, so much. Joffre, Lead Product Manager at NetAtmo for this wonderful overview. Thank you so much for having us today.